What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel, and we are back at it with Khan Academy SAT Math. We are doing topic number two today out of 37, and we're in the foundations level. We're going to eventually uh, move it up to medium, to the higher difficulties. So this is going to be a series that we're going to do for the next two months and just banging them out every day. Let's get on to it. Linear equation word problems. Let's go. We're going to do four problems for the first time, and I am going to explain as we go through them. Here we go. All right, Jamie went to the mall with $42, and he bought a t-shirt and had 18 left. How much did the t-shirt cost? Okay, so what I one thing I like to do with these types of questions is represent it somehow in an equation, okay, with a variable. So he went to the mall with 42. He bought a shirt, meaning he spent money, X dollars, I don't know how much, he lost X dollars for that shirt, and then ends up with $18, and that's how much he has left. That equals 18. Hence, I create an equation. Now, all you got to do is solve for X. Minus 42, minus 42 from both sides. Negative X equals negative 24. Now, I got a negative on this side. I want to get rid of it. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Boom, boom. And we simply get X equals 24. And that's how you set it up, and that's how you solve it. Boom, done. All right, next. Here we go. Cameron's house is 0.5 miles from the grocery store of Cameron's house is 1.5 miles closer to the grocery store than Amy's house is, which the following can be used to, to determine X, the distance between Amy's house and the grocery store in miles. Okay, so X is Amy's, and then it said um, Cameron's house. Okay, wait, so let's see. So she's one. So Cameron's house is 1.5 miles closer. So wait, let's do it like this. Okay, let's say 0.5, which is the distance of Cameron's house, is 1.5 closer, meaning less than the distance of Amy, which is X. There we go, create an equation. Now we use this equation to solve, right? You can add 1.5 to both sides and she's two miles away and that makes a lot of sense. But I just created the equation now. I didn't create the equation so that we could create an equation to solve this. I would, or I mean, I did, I guess, but I would legitimately create an equation regardless in a lot of ways because it just helps me solve. Now I got to solve for X. Uh, but anyways, this is asking about the equation itself. So let's see which one is, is this. X minus one point, here it is, it's C. You see X minus 1.5 equals 0.5. They just have it flipped and that's fine, right? That's the symmetry property of equality where I can have, you know, X equals five is the same as, uh, five equals X, right? So anyways, C should be the winner. Let me just make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I think we're good. Boom, done. Okay. Next. Anton watched X movies in 2019. If Michael watched one fourth as... Okay. So again, Anton, Michael. Anton watched X movies. Michael watched one fourth as much as Anton, meaning whatever Anton is, which is X times one fourth, one fourth of that. Um... Which of the following best approximates the number of movies Michael watched in 2019? Well, there we go. We have it. It's one fourth X, which is the same as X over four. Um, yeah, I mean, that wouldn't even, I, it's just weird that they say approximates because that's literally what they said. But maybe if they said watched about one fourth as many movies, then it would be an approximation. But anyways, one fourth X is the same as X over four. And by the way, the reason why it's because you can just imagine X multiplying the one and then it's the same as X over four. Anyways. So A is the winner, done. Number four, here we go, here we go. Spread the word, people. We're gonna be doing live streams, SAT math on the daily until this March SAT. So let people know, let your friends know what's up. All right, Stephanie is twice, uh, Stephanie is twice as old as her sister, Rosa. If Stephanie, okay, so Stephanie, Rosa, here's a way to, that I'm gonna do this with variables. Stephanie is twice as old as Rosa. So if Rosa's X, Stephanie is 2X, right? Then it says Stephanie is 18. That means 2X equals 18. Let's write it this way. Well, how old is Rosa? Look at that. Nice equation, right? Just isolate X. Divide by 2. X equals 18 over 2, which is 9. And that's Rosa's age, and we got our answer. Now, you might have been like, why was the point of that? That one's just so straightforward. She's 18, right? Stephanie's twice as old, was half of 18, nine, you're there. Hey, I have no problem with that. I'm fine with that. The reason why I'm showing you this way is because I like to make a habit of it, especially as the problems get more complicated. If you just go in equation mode, it doesn't take you that much longer for these easier ones, but let, you know, it's a fair point. You don't need it for them. Uh, but for the more difficult ones or more complicated ones, this blueprint will just lead you right to the correct path. So um anyways let's go ahead and enter nine make sure we're correct 
we are correct. And that's it. Quick video. We did four problems. We're moving on to topic three in the next video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click that like button. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comment section. And if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.